Now I'm going to tell you about working with different tracks. So each of these layers of data on here is a different track and simply by holding your mouse over the left hand side you can highlight a track in green for example. You can move them about by highlighting, clicking and dragging which means you can reposition tracks to create the view that you want to show. So the first thing you need to do is to view your gene. So the view that you get when you start up will probably look different to this. So you might want to get rid of tracks which are not relevant to what you want to do. Um, and you might want to show your genes if it's not showing them appropriately. So down here we have different folders with different menus. So here's a genes and gene prediction menu and within it are all the different track sets related to the different genes. We have mRNA, expression, regulation, etc. So first of all, to get your gene to show if it's not looking like this, so we're going to use this track set UCSC genes and RefC genes. And just by clicking this little arrow here, you get different ways of viewing it. Hide, dense, squish, pack and full. So first of all, I'm just going to click hide. I need to click refresh. And so now both of those gene tracks have gone. We can view them again by going to full and clicking refresh. And there it is back. So to look at how these genes are represented, so we've got these little arrows pointing from right to left, which means the direction of transcription is from right to left. The thick bars are exons, this is the untranslated region, and these are introns. So if you hover over the left hand column of a track and right click, you can change the views there. So I'm going to get rid of these tracks, which we're not interested in for now, just by going hide for all of them. The next thing we're going to do is uh, just illustrate how the different views can affect what you want to study. So one of the tasks you have to look at is SNPs. So we go down to the variance menu. So a lot of these will show all the available SNPs, which is more than what you need. So what I've asked you in the task is to look at flagged SNPs. So if you just hover over a title, you get a bit more information. So you can see flagged SNPs are thought to be, or have been shown to be clinically associated. And all these different categories all seem to show very similar data, so there's no point showing all of them. Just pick one, and we go full, and refresh. And so you can here see these are all the different SNPs with their numbers displayed, lined up with the region of the genome where they're found. So this is useful if you want to look at individual numbers, but it's not so helpful for a general overview. So again, if you right click, change the view to dense, it squishes them all up. So now you can see that most of these clinically relevant SNPs for the, uh, for the beta globin gene are found in the exons and not very much in the introns, but we do have a few in the introns.